What's good YouTube, welcome to my channel. Before we get started with this video, I wanna ask you to drop a like on this video and please, please sub up. I am so close to 7,000 subscribers and it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you to everybody that hit that like button and everybody that subbed up. But now we're gonna get into this video. This is what you guys came for. This is my guide to use Mirage. All right, so I've been playing with Mirage for a few days now and these are my tips. If you have any tips, do not hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section. Mirage, in my opinion, is one of the easiest and creative legends in the game. His ability give you the freedom to confuse your enemy any way you like. He's a multi-purpose character and by that I mean you can be aggressive or you can play defense depending on the type of person you are. So what we're going to talk about first is Mirage's skills. Mirage is known as the holographic trister. His ability is based around the art of distraction. He has three abilities like all legends, passive, tactical, and ultimate. I'm not going to cover the passive ability because nine out of ten times you're already dead just being honest. Alright moving on to his tactical ability. His tactical ability is called psych out. It is great for pushing four on an enemy or to draw out enemies in the area. Point it in a direction and a decoy is taken off. That simple. Keep in mind, whatever position you're in, your decoy will go out in that position. So if you're crouching, your decoy will walk out crouching. So please be mindful of that. If you're an aggressive player, you can send them out in one direction and flank the other direction with a grenade and pick off your opposing team. That simple. Now on the other hand, if you're defensive, you can sit in the back, send them out, scope out the entire area and try to pick off people as they go for him because it also has hit markers so people will think it's you you can also use it to buy you some time when you're healing i can't say how many times i've did that and pro tip if you're near a care package send out your decoy to see people in the area use your decoy as a scout guys it's the most ultimate pro tip i'm telling you now for the ultimate vanishing act i can tell you how many times i got out of a firefight because of this so Vanishing Act distracts the enemy with multiple clones and then it cloaks you giving you time to get away. Be mindful though, one thing, you cannot use your weapon while using your ultimate. So it's best to get somewhere safe if you're going to play defensively or get in position so once you're like 5 seconds of cloaking is up, you can just go straight for the enemy and kill him. Now we're going to move on to the pros and cons of the character. Honestly, I play with this character a lot and I haven't really found too many cons in my opinion. I mean his tactical ability loads fast compared to any other character, that's just me or maybe I'm tripping if, if I'm wrong somebody let me know but that is great if you find yourself alone I mean you can easily fight multiple people by sending out a decoy distracting somebody hit somebody with peacekeeper throwing the star multiple scenarios that you can lay out if you're really good and you're really a comp player but the only con I really have is I don't like that the decoy can't climb over objects and I don't like the fact that the decoy can't go through race portal. Now moving on to the comp teams that I think best fit Mirage because honestly Mirage is a multi-purpose legend in my opinion depending on the type of person you are and how creative you are with your mind. The first team I would say is Bloodhound, Bangalore, and Mirage and the reason why I say that is with these three players you're playing an offensive style of play, Bloodhound tracking abilities along with Mirage decoys can lure out enemies. Oh, I didn't forget about G.I. Jane. Bangalore smoke along with Mirage decoys or ultimate can confuse the enemies and lead them right into position to call in Bangalore ultimate. So if you're an aggressive type of player, this team is for you. Just imagine smoking somebody, hitting them with a decoy, and then dropping bombs right on their head because now they're so confused. They worried about the smoke, they worried about the decoy, and then you got Bloodhound who can see through all the smoke. It's the ultimate aggressive team. So if you're aggressive, try this team out and let me know what you guys think. A lot of people might not agree with me with this, but my second team is Bangalore, Caustic, and Mirage. And the reason why I picked these three is because Mirage's ability to decoy along with Caustic's gas, you can easily trick somebody into a room, then lock them in a the room with Caustic's gas, and then bam, they're dead, then you can loot them. Cause Caustic is not affected by his own gas and neither is the teammates health wise, but it does blur the vision and slow them down. So you have to be mindful of that. And then the reason why Bangalore is added to the team, in my opinion, is because you can throw smoke out. Then you can catch people with gas and then they're slow and they can't move. So you hit them with Bangalore ultimate. Boom. You can wipe out like six teams right there. Two teams, four teams, however many get caught in the gas and get caught in the ultimate. I think that's a nice little combo in addition. But if you guys don't agree, oh well, you know, just let me know in the comment section below. All right, this team I like to call the multi-purpose team. This team consists of Lifeline, Mirage, and Wraith. I picked these three together because of Lifeline healing ability and race portal ability. If you're creative, you can use this lineup to flank enemies or even escape. Lifeline Ultimate also plays a great part in this because if you haven't gotten any good items, you can always try your luck out with her care package. One thing to know, Mirage decoys cannot go through Wraith portals. Honestly, I'm kind of saddened by that, but it makes sense 
just so it won't be OP. Well, there you have it. This is my guide to using Mirage. If you have any tips, feel free to comment down below. Also, who would you like for me to do next? Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe for more Apex content. I'm so close to 7K. It will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.